Hey, what's going on guys? Pokemaster Poop, we're back again today. Let's get ourselves logged in here and connected up. So, yesterday, obviously we did mess our sleep session up. Um, I don't normally take naps, but I was like, let's try to get the rest of our sleep score back up by taking a nap. And, uh, well, yeah, that messed everything up else up for today um i forgot that like your first sleep session is technically your nap session so whenever i took a nap after yesterday's sleep session that messed up it was technically for today's sleep session so this is the rest of the sleep session that i did from yesterday uh because we already did that sleep session i didn't record it but that's why we have a sleep duration of 100 there. Uh, we already had like a sleep duration of 63 or something like that. So sleep duration of 100. It looks like we got a snoozing type though. So that's good. Maybe we could get a um, Fue Coco. Because <clears throat> I actually did not use any incense or anything for this since we kind of got a little bit of everything messed up here uh but tomorrow's sleep session should be okay we should be back on track for everything as long as uh i don't mess up hitting the po pokemon go plus plus button again what can we get today guys ekans a top belly We got a Sprigatito? Wait a second. Did we get... Did we get snoozing type or dozing type? Because these look like a lot of dozing type Pokemon. What? Now I'm confused. <laughs> Did we get a balance type? Because <laughs> Sprigatito and Quaxley are two... Okay. Well, we didn't get any new Pokemon. I'm very confused. <laughs> because we have Sprigatito... Oh yeah, we had to have gotten balance type. Or maybe we did. I, I don't know. I can't even remember now. I'm going to have to go back and replay the, the video after this. Because I know that regardless of our own sleep type, there will be other sleep types that spawn in. But I thought we were going to have like a lot of snoozing types. But we only have two snoozing type Pokemon. Yeah, now, I, now I'm curious to see what our sleep type even was. I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> Studied all of the gathered Pokemon. Let's see who's going to be hungry. If anybody. Somebody should be, though. Rattata. There we go. We got the Rattata Hungry. Hmm. Well, we got two Sprigatitos this time, and we got a Quaxley. Unfortunately, we don't have our premium bonus biscuit because we already used that in the last sleep session. Um, hmm. Let's go for... Let's go for a Sprigatito. Just because my only thing with the Quaxley is, is I don't want to feed it two biscuits and then it get full by chance. So, since they're not hungry. Um, so, we'll feed the Great Biscuit to Sprigatito. We'll feed a Pokey Biscuit to Sprigatito. Now, at least if Sprigatito... Okay, that works too. I was going to say, at least if Sprigatito gets full here, we have another Sprigatito on the board that we could always recruit. But... That also works, so that's super awesome. Um, okay, so we got the Sprigatito here. 
Let's go ahead and we're just going to finish it up there because I don't want to I don't want to waste a whole lot more pokey biscuits. No, we don't want that. Let's go Sprigatito. Ugh, excuse me. Um, Alright, so we got some Dream Shards there. Sprigatito. Level 14, Nave. Nave Nature. Uh, we got the ingredients. Pokemon getting us mono potatoes. All potatoes. Interesting. Helping Speed S, Ingredient Finder M, Ingredient Finder S, Inventory Up M, Energy Recovery Bonus, EXP Gains Up with Main Skill Chance Down. That's pretty interesting, honestly. Oh, my. I love that it has two ingredient finding uh, subskills. But I don't really know what to take with the Nave nature. The EXP gains up and the main skill chance down. Hmm. I mean, it's not it's not terrible. It's, it's our best Sprigatito that we've found so far. So, that's pretty cool. I will take it. Um, okay, so let's head back here to the island. Let's see... Did we get some sneaky snacking? Did we heal up some of our Pokemon just a little bit? Twenty-five thousand sneaky snacking. That is crazy. Honey times ten. We leveled up as well here. What level are we on? Master seven? Master eight. Oh my goodness. A whole master level behind. <laughs> Alright, we got 31 sleep pass points here. Which is... Obviously not a whole lot of anything, but... <clears throat> Alright, we can grab our daily gift here real quick. As well, maybe. Got a dream cluster S. Okay. Not too shabby there. I'll take a dream cluster. Let's go ahead, though, and we'll... Collect up all the berries and ingredients here. Oh, we also have our uh, little gift to open as well. Another extra tasty chance. Let's go. All right, let's go. Grab slow bro. So the one thing that I've kind of been noticing is that slow bro has not been getting us a whole lot of slowpoke tails. Um which is kind of unfortunate because uh it is on the better side of the ingredient finding and for it to still just not be finding us as many slowpoke tails as I need it to be. Makes me a little worried. Let's go ahead and open the box here. 10,000 Dream Shards. Let's go. Super awesome there. Alright, we'll get into the main menu here real quick. We do have some new news for day number three here. Increases to bedtime rewards and others coming soon. So they are going to be increasing some rewards. 
uh, update in early August. Bedtime reward increase. Uh, some of the rewards you can get by sticking to your bedtime will increase. Uh, sleep research rewards increase. Uh, the amount of research, EXP, and dream shards you can get from sleep research will increase slightly. Note though, adjustments will focus mainly on sleep styles that require a low amount of drowsy power. So it's mainly going to probably be a lot of your, your one star sleeps and stuff like that. Uh, they're going to have a slightly boosted uh, re research EXP and dream shard uh, boost to those sleep research encounters. Um, and I'm assuming that's only probably to help out uh, newer players. Um, newer players that are coming into the game, obviously they're going to have lower amounts of drowsy power. Um, so the research EXP and the dream shards that they'll get will be slightly more significantly better than what we had before. Uh, rewards when you have reached the max area bonus. If you've reached the max area bonus, your 5% area bonus increase will be automatically divided and distributed across other areas. So, as of right now, we have five areas. So, for instance, right now, today, we are on Green Grass Isle. We are already at the max area research bonus. Um, so, that 5% is going to get distributed across the other four islands that we have. So, exactly how much they're going to distribute that, I don't I don't know. One, 1.25, one. I guess that would be it, um, which that's going to be a little interesting once they start doing that and we start getting like some, like, oh, we're at 55.25% area bonus. Uh, it's it's going to be a little weird. So, uh, but that that's uh, super awesome that our area bonus is not just like getting wasted anymore and it's actually applying to all of the other islands as well. Uh, so that's super awesome. I'm happy that we're getting some uh, more rewards coming here soon. Let's hop into the research community. Let's make sure we got everybody here. New reports, 31, and I actually already saw something that was crazy. Fabs with the Florigato. Florigato sleep. That's super awesome that you guys are already finding stuff like that. I maybe would have found something like that if I wouldn't have messed up my sleep score. Uh, we got Ash Kober with the Fue Coco, Inocenia with the Fue Coco, Sneefy with the Quaxley, Floor with the Fue Coco, Paid Actors with the Sprigatito, Taikio Ty with the Quaxley, Martain with the Fue Coco, Hamud with the Quaxley. We got Kajula with the Quaxley, Law Sauce with the Fue Coco, Pretty Jazz with the Quaxley, Jesus' Wizard with the Fue Coco, Alex with the Fue Coco, Tone with the Fue Coco, Eric with the Quaxley. Eric also already has a uh, Florigato, though. Has the picture. That's awesome. Uh, we got Sea Stark with the Fue Coco, Boots, CVN with the Quaxley, Lord Gumi with the Quaxley, Ron Sam with the Sprigatito, Psy Keller with the Sprigatito, Blush Sarah with the Quaxley, Jassy with the Quaxley, Jeffer with the Fue Coco, Ancio with the Meow Scarada? No way! 56 million drowsy power. That's absurd. With the Meow Scarada. That's crazy. Congrats. That's nuts. Congrats to NCO there. Uh, Aswatab with the Quaxley. Lo the Happy with the Fue Coco. Flex with the Fue Coco. Denzel with the Fue Coco. Helios with the Sprigatito. Celicelia with the Fue Coco. Jordan with the Quaxley. Snoozy Worm with the Fue Coco. Laura Bella with the Sprigatito. We're going to shout out Mayvac too with the Cramorant, because that's pretty cool. Uh, Albert Wilson with the Sprigatito. Tenderator with the Fue Coco there. Let's go. Let's make sure everybody is within a day. I feel like we almost had everybody catching some of the new Pokemon. And some of you guys even catching, getting some of the evolved ones. That's insane. I was not prepared for that already. All right. Let's, uh, let's head back. 
We'll get ready to cook some breakfast. We'll see what we can get ourselves for our Snorlax. That'd be super awesome if we could get another extra tasty again. That'd be, that'd be insane. 140 there from the Wiggly. Oh, what? That's enough to level us up to? Master 9. Let's go. We're flying through these levels. I'll take it. All right, let's go ahead. We'll get cooking. Oh, darn it. We still don't have enough fiery herbs. Or else we could do another Inferno Corn Kima Curry. We're going to have to do the Drought Katsu Curry. Unfortunately, we're just starting to run low on, on some ingredients here. <clears throat> so let's do the Drought Katsu Curry. Um, honestly, I don't think we need... Oh gosh, we only have two Slowpoke Tails. I don't think we're going to need, though, a, a whole lot of fancy apples or honey for the rest of this. So, we'll throw some fancy apples and honey in there. That way we at least get a full pot. That way, in case it gets extra tasty here. Because that's the one kind of bad thing about using Dedenne is if you aren't completely stocked up on ingredients uh, to cook your dishes a lot, then it, it, it makes it a little tougher. Because then once you get that extra tasty bonus, uh, you know, you kind of almost are always hoping for an extra tasty. Um, now, obviously, if we got an extra tasty here, 15,000, that would have maybe have only have went to 30,000. So it could have maybe have potentially have been better to wait to see if we got more fiery herbs to cook the drought cat or to cook the inferno corn kima curry um but we can always wait and see if we can cook it closer towards lunchtime um and then that way too thankfully we didn't get an extra tasty so now we still have the 14 percent, and then maybe closer towards lunchtime too dedene will maybe trigger his skill again so then we'll have a uh, a 21% chance of a of an extra tasty so I don't know could be good could be bad we're gonna have to wait and see though what happens but that is gonna do it for right now um, we're at 492,000 Snorlax strength which is pretty crazy um, we're getting up there for for this week that's for sure um, and I mean, I can't say that the meals aren't helping us out a lot because I feel like they are. They're helping us out a pretty good bit. Uh, and Dedenne is obviously also helping with that extra tasty chance because that extra tasty meal yesterday was uh, quite a big one. So that's where we're going to end it for today, guys. Uh, if you guys are liking the content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. It does help me out a ton here on the channel. And if you guys could too, smash that like button for me. It does truly, truly help me out. And I do really, really appreciate everyone that's smashing that like button for me. Uh, let me know that you guys are at least uh, liking the content and appreciating everything that I do here. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that's here watching the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.